I don't wanna speak for all women out there, but I know it can be pretty challenging to get all of your protein in if you wanna gain muscle and you wanna lose weight. So today I am making a low carb protein cookie that tastes good and is super easy to make. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is add your protein powder into your bowl. So I'm just using a chocolate whey protein powder. You can use whatever kind you like, any brand, as long as it's low carb. Make sure it's low carb. Okay, the second ingredient you want is coconut flour. Add that into your bowl. Next, add in your Dutch processed cocoa powder. If you don't have this, don't worry about it. You can just have the protein powder as is, as long as it's chocolate, but it does add a really nice, rich, chocolatey flavor. So add it in if you do have it. If you're not sure about certain ingredients or you don't have them, comment below and I can help you with substitutes if you're looking for that. All right, the next thing you wanna add is your powdered monk fruit sweetener. Now grab your whisk and just whisk it all together. All right, this is looking good to me. Now we're going to add in our vanilla extract. Next, add in your butter. Now, if you don't have butter or you're strictly dairy-free, you can use coconut oil or even MCT oil if you want some extra fat-burning benefits. However, the butter is really delicious. It gives it a really nice flavor. So use butter if you can. If not, use coconut oil or MCT oil. So I'm just incorporating the vanilla extract and the butter into this mixture. Okay. That's looking good. So if you can see, it's pretty dry, but also clumpy. So what we're going to do now is take some water and just slowly pour it in while we mix it all together. You want it to be a good consistency as in kind of like a, almost like a Play-Doh, but you don't want it to be too wet. It's very important that it's not too wet. <laughs> When it starts to get really clumpy, that's when you can ditch the spatula and just use your hands. Perfect. See here, it's kind of a Play-Doh consistency. Not super chalky, but also not too wet. That's exactly what you want. So we're just going to roll it into a bit of a ball here put our bowl to the side. That was loud. <laughs> Grab a little bit of parchment paper, stick the ball in the middle, and we're just gonna, oh shoot, I almost forgot the most important part. The chocolate chips. Just a second. Okay, I got the chocolate chips. So what we're gonna do is just add a little bit squish it in, and then mold it into the ball of dough. Press and squish, press and squish. This is looking good and chunky. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that. Put those to the side. Now I'm gonna form the ball again. Grab my parchment paper. Stick it in the middle and press down. We're just gonna form our cookie shape. I, I also left some chocolate chips on the side and we're gonna press those into the top to really give it that chocolate cookie look. Now I'm just gonna take some leftover chocolate chips that I have and press them into the top. Okay, now the last step, you're going to throw this in the freezer for at least 30 minutes. I know you gotta have to wait, but trust me, it's really delicious. It sets up just like a cookie. It's got a really nice texture, really nice consistency. It just tastes so good. So it'll be worth the wait. And there you have it, a delicious no-bake protein-packed double chocolate chip cookie that you can enjoy whenever you need an extra protein pick-me-up.
Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please remember to like this video, comment on this video if you have any future video suggestions for me, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos just like this one. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. See you later.